What is up my friends, my name is Veiku and today I have a new team for you guys. We'll be, we are going to play, of course, Pokemon Sword and Shield double battles on the ranked ladder. Now this is not a team I've cre created myself, this team was made by Evan. Uh, why I chose this team? I was scrolling through some ideas and teams throughout the internet and I, uh, this team really caught my eye. Uh, I have been wanting to do a team with uh, Rillaboom and Corviknight and Among Us and this team featured them all and yeah, I really wanted to uh, test out this team. As you guys uh, know, Rillaboom is the most popular Pokemon at this, uh, at this time, so I want to test it out. This team features uh, Tyrandar with Sandstream, Weakness Policy, pretty standard Jet, Rock Slide, Prick Reg, Lash Out. I really like the moveset Incineroar with Intimidate, Safety Goggles with Flare Blitz, Taunt, Fake, o, fake Out, and Parting Shot. I like, I really like that moveset as well. Then Corviknight with Mirror Armor, Lumberry, which will remove all uh, status conditions one time. And Brave Bird, Iron Head, Tailwind, and Roost. Really nice moveset as well. Then. Rillaboom, Grassy Shirts with Life Orb and with that Grassy light and the Life Orb, Rillaboom is going to do a lot of damage. Knock Off, Fake Out, Protect, I really like that moveset as well. Togekiss, Super Luck, Scope Lens, Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, Follow Me, Heat Wave, pretty standard set. I like the, uh, usually there's a Yawn or Protect, but this uh, Togekiss has Heat Wave, so it's a little bit more offensive variant, I think. And then we have an Among Us Regenerator with Cobra Berry. Uh, I have an Among Us, like literally, like the same Spore, Clear Smog, Rage Powder, and Protect. I don't have Clear Smog, I have Pollen Buff on my Among Us, but pretty much the same set. Anyways, this is the team featuring in today's video. Hope you guys enjoy, and let's hop on to the battles. Alright, opponent has been found, and it's a it's uh, looking pretty strong. There's Colossal and uh, Dragabolt with that Surf. How do I want to deal with that, I wonder? Hmm, I don't have a Water type or a Crown type, which is actually extremely bad. Rillaboom of their own, Urshifu. Really cool team. I mean, it was pretty much Wolfie Click who invented the Surfing, Dragabolt and Colossal. I used to have a counter for it, but this is a new team, so what does this team do against... Hmm... What, how do I want to deal with that? That's my, what my opponent is bringing, I think. I could lead with Rillaboom and... Hmm... It's extremely bad. We can't follow me the Surf, I think. We can't fake out the Dragabolt and... Colossal is going to Dynamax, so usually you need a Pokemon that can take take like one punch from Colossal. I think this is going to be the lead. I do think we need Incineroar. And, uh, hmm. Let's take Among Us here. Alright, first battle with this team. Obviously, it's going to take some time. To get used to the team, but I will try my very best for you guys. Let's see. This guy's trainer guard look pretty serious, so I'm expecting Colossal and Dragabolt. Yes, indeed. Now the question is, can I? What can I do against this team? Like, what I'm thinking, I can actually KO the Colossal. Hmm. Interesting. I could protect with Tyran Daran, proc our weakness policy, maybe. Like, Max Knuckle into Colossal could be pretty good too. I'm, I'm not sure how much it does damage. Let's use the Rockfall and. I could protect with uh, Rillaboom, but I think I want the Grassy Glide here, just to ensure we will get the KO, so probably I will lose my Rillaboom here. 
Hopefully my opponent loses uh, Colossal. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. So, check and maxing Colossal and Trackable is going to use Surf. It's hard when you know what your opponent is going to do, but still, like, hmm. This is a new team for me, so I had one, one minute to think about how should I counter this, so... Bear with me, you guys. So I'm expecting G-Max Vocalit into Rillaboom and Surf from Dragobolt. Okay, that did nothing. Surf... That's actually pretty good for us, because it <laughs> activates our weakness policy as well, so... Okay, that did a lot of damage to Colossal. We could have protected with Rillaboom. I don't know if we needed that damage. Like G-Max Vocalith into Rillaboom. Max Overgrowth into Tyranitar. That's actually a lot better. We can save our Rillaboom here and... Tyranitar can take this like a champ and this should KO easily. Nice. Okay, we took a bit too much damage, but they didn't get the G-Max Vocalit off and our weakness policy is broke and Rillaboom is still pretty healthy. So let's see. Trackabolt is still the fastest one on the field, which could be a little bit problematic with that Phantom Force. We can always miss our max move. So I'm expecting this to be Incineroar, I think. If I had to guess. Yes, sir. It's like I play the game. Ooh, shiny one. So Intimidate and... I am tempted to go knock off into... Hmm. Like, I kind of want to go after the Tragabolt, but that's going to be a mistake, I think. Now, with Rillaboom, I think I'm faster than the Incineroar, so I kind of want to go for a knockoff, but if this fails, I'm going to get my Rillaboom KO'd. I could also, what I could do is switch to my own Incineroar, I think. Like that's probably the thing I want to do. Negate some of the damage. I think uh, this Dragobolt, if it's the standard set, it only has like Dragon Darts, so... Incineroar is probably going to Flare Blitz. Bring and Swipe. Alright. This is not a standard set. Uh, decreasing the attack is pretty smart, yeah. This is what I was kind of counting on. It's going to do nothing, and we'll be able to KO the Incineroar. Well, I don't know. We got our attack lowered. We should still be at plus one, I think. Easy. Easy. I probably should have went after the Tragabolt here. Tragabolt is buffed by the hail. Hmm. Like, I'm... The only thing I'm worried about is Phantom Force, but... See. I think in Sonora, if it has fake out, yeah, we'll be in a decent spot here. Like, I could KO this Togagis, I think, but I'm going to do Max Darkness here. If it lands on Togagis, then it lands on Togagis. I think I'm going to be faking out the Togagis. Let's see. Yeah, Togagis is going to protect. That's what I was counting on. Hopefully, this is not a Phantom Force. Surf. Okay, I can live with that. Tarandar should be able to tank this easily, easily. Nice. Ooh. Dark reducing berry. This is a really cool Dragobolt set. I, ooh, I like it. I was expecting something completely different. That's that's always... I, I, I like the idea. It's like the standard Dragobolt and Colossal, but you change the moveset and stuff on Dragobolt too. That's that's always 
can respect that. Okay, so our Dynamax is finally over, but we did a lot in three turns, I think. And there's no reason for me not to click Rock Slide here, although I could protect and switch to Among Us here. Like, I think this is the play. Probably Tyrandar will get KO'd here. Unfortunately, I only have Flare Blitz. Mm -hmm. I could still lose this. Uh, should I have Parting Shot here? I get Flare Blitz in the Tragabolt, I think. If I get rid of the Tragabolt, I, I should be in a decent spot here. Like, Deathlink Gleam into Tyranidar is going to KO here. Yep. I should have protected there, but. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Hopefully this KOs. Unfortunately, there's a couple of breaking swipes. Ah, but is it going to be down? Going down with the sand? Yeah, perfect, perfect. Sand goes before the grass is right? No. How should I one? How should I deal with this? Among Us is probably going to get air slashed. Like, I can't really hit this Togekiss, to be honest. That's actually not amazing. I got a parting shot there. I don't know why I... Okay. Well, first win with this team. Great. Alright, we have more coming for us. And, and this looks like an awesome team. There's... Sandaconda. Uh, hmm. There's Intimidate probably on the Arcanine. Possibly double screen setters. Got, got to tell. Like honestly. Uh, hmm. Like, I could r really go for like Rillaboom and Redirection. What is my opponent going to do against that? It's pretty good against most of my opponent's Pokemon. Okay, kind of like... Mm, Tyrandar is also looking pretty nice here as well. There's, like, what are you going to do? I think I'm going to lead the same Pokemon. I'm not sure how this team is supposed to be played, I think. This time we don't bring Incineroar, I think. And... Uh, Hmm, maybe Togekiss this time. I think it's a little bit better here. Okay, my opponent has a plan already. Let's see what's going to be. What's going on? Alright, Paterixi. Maybe that's how it's pronounced. Good luck to you. Sandagonda and Crimsnarl, and honestly, I can say I have no idea what's going on. No idea at all what's going to be happening here. I think I'm just going to keep it honest and... Uh, well... Mm. I mean, there's some really tempting damage I can do here. I get, I, I'm kind of tempted on like Fake Out and... Do I want to play that passively? Like what is... What's going to happen here? Maybe I'm being <laughs> totally outplayed here, but we'll see. Okay. That's a G-Max Grimson now, perhaps. Perhaps. No, that is a G-Max Sandaconda thing. Right, right. I should have probably protected. So I'm expecting actually like a reflect and that would be pretty bad. Did I actually have brick break on my Tyrandar? I could have used that. Well Like I'm pretty sure Tyrandar can tank these hits. Maybe. 
Crusic Light should still do a lot. I mean, the Reflect is not amazing. Okay, no Reflect. That's a lot of damage. Okay, there's... Oh, yeah, but uh, Crusic Light is a priority move, so... G-Max Sandblast into... Tyranitar? No. In the Rillaboom. Maybe expecting there to switch to Incineroar, I think. They should still do a fair amount through Reflect, I think. Yeah, that's not bad damage. That's not bad damage there. Ooh, this is going to be a battle do that Reflex. Reflect. I have Togekiss and uh, Corviknight in the back. Like Corviknight... Oh yeah, we're <laughs> dropped in the sandstorm. You don't see that animation too often. Like if I hadn't Dynamaxed uh, Tyranitar, I would be super tempted to switch it into Corviknight because I'm expecting a ground move there. And honestly, Rillaboom didn't do as much as I hoped. So should I go for a Max Knuckle because we're not doing enough damage here. I could protect, but I think. Like, is this what I want to do? Like, let's go after the Sandagonda, I think. It's probably just going to keep on attacking. That's still decent damage. Light screen, okay. Doesn't really bother us too much. There's only Togekiss in the back. G-Max Rockfall. This guy really wants to get rid of uh, Rillaboom, which leaves me thinking, what does he have in the back? Should I... I should probably save my Rillaboom. Unfortunately, I just got the attack boost and we'll be going down to the sand anyways, are we? Yes, we are. Alright, that's not amazing. Alright, Sandagonda should be... Like, Sandagonda is sticking around here. And we are trapped in the sand tomb, yeah. Like Corviknight's pretty good here too, but I kind of want to use Togekiss, but could I? Hmm. Corviknight is usually how I use it, this my late game sweeper, but... In here it's looking pretty nice, I think. Sandagonda had my max rock fall and ground moves. So we'll use, not very effective, oh yeah. Like Max Darkness in here and Iron Head to here. Crimson Arl uses Taunt. That's not amazing too. Unfortunately we lost the Rillaboom but... I mean that <laughs> Reflect is doing some work. G-Max Sandblast into Tyranitar, finally. Nice. That's what we wanted. Weakness policy and now we can start getting some KOs. But now I only wish that well if I if I used Togekiss probably would have Togekiss would have been hit by um, G Max Rockfall and now we have the weakness policy proc, and uh, I really would like to use the redirection of Togekiss. Should I just hard switch Corbinite? Let's see what my opponent does. Probably Incineroar. Did I beat uh, Arcanine? I think. Whoa. That's a cool animation. I've never seen Sand 2 Moon Sword and Shield before, I, <laughs> I gotta be honest. Like, Sandagonda was pretty good. I mean, not bad, not bad stuff at all. It, do, it took that uh, classic Light Life Orb in Grassy Terrain like a champ. Lapras. Lapras. But what I think I want to do is 
protect and switch here to Togekiss. Pokemon can't be switched out. Oh yeah, we're tra <laughs> trapped in the sand tomb. Oh no. Like, still protect and iron head here is probably the play. I think Lapras is going to Hydro Pump. Oh. Alright. Okay, that's pretty smart. We'll get the Intimidate of, of our own. Okay. It's not lo looking amazing. I should have Tailwinded there and not Iron Head. I was being a bit too greedy. Life Dew, alright. I was expecting Hydro Pump to... Tyranitar. If I had Rock Slided there, I'd been really in a great spot, I think. I was just afraid because the speed tiers I won't be able to get to a rock slide. Should I switch to Togekiss? Does that do anything for me? Probably not. I mean, we're getting kind of beaten by this weird team. And I really needed that Rillaboom for the Lapras. I, I don't know why I played this way. Like, this is what I need to do, but I don't have the redirection here. And I'm taunted as well. My opponent is actually playing really well with this team. Hats off to my opponent. Like, this doesn't really accomplish me anything, but I don't want Tyranidar to get KO'd just yet. Oh yeah, and I'm trapped in the sand. Like, wow. Okay. Wow, I'm getting outplayed here. What, what can I really do? Good stuff, good stuff. No switching out. I'm intimidated and the crazy stuff, crazy stuff. I'm taunted. Now we just have to hope that uh, Tyrander connects here. Nice. That's a lot of damage still. Okay, a berry on Lapras. That's new too. Usually Lapras has like light clay or life orb or weakness policy. Wiki berry even. Both of them have berries. Well built team. Nice, we get this flinch. Grassy terrain is still up. It's benefiting my opponent a little bit more than me, I think. Oh, we are still trapped in the sand tomb. I was just thinking, can I finally switch out? Then it's it's doing quite a lot of re like damage. Maybe Dynamaxing. Uh, Tyrandar wasn't the play here. It wasn't really doing as much. Let's see. This Pokemon, okay, it, it's just bound. I don't know how many turns. It seems like forever, I think. Unfortunately, I need to connect with the Rock Slide and hope my opponent misses or something like that. I need the Tailwind for Togekiss. Okay, goodbye. Okay, nice. That's really important that we survive there. I need this Tailwind from Togekiss. Togekiss can win a uh, Grimmsnarl and we need this to connect nice. Beautiful, beautiful. I think we can still pull this off. This has been a difficult match, but I'm, I'm really glad. Okay, double flinch. I don't know if I deserve that, but... Like, I didn't know that Sand Tomb is... <laughs> Okay, it's freed. I was thinking it can't be forever, but... Grimmsnarl... I think my opponent's team is really cool as well. I'm really glad we were able to showcase it here. Uh, should I... Break break? Well, I think I'm still... Even if we... Yeah, even if I miss Labras, we would have definitely won, so... 2-0, 2-0. Alright, we'll see. It's a weird team to say the least. Uh, that's... There's some weird stuff here. There's rain, obviously. There's... Trackabolt can beat up... Is that Kubalian, that Pokemon? There's also Mudsdale, which I think Trackabolt can beat up as well, and it will four times increase its defense and... 
Oh boy, that's actually a pretty cool team as well. I'm kind of still liking Among Us here. I think some redirection and how can I hit that Cobalion hard? Like I kind of like Tyranitar here, but I kind of hate it. It's Rillaboom and like Mudsdale are the problem. How do I deal with them? But if my opponent leaves its Cobalion, how do I deal with that too? You'll probably go with Corviknight, Rillaboom and Incineroar here. We'll see. Let's leave the Togekish and Tyranitar out because those are Pokemon fairly often featured in my channel. So let's try something else. Oh, 666, that doesn't... That's not good. Gyarados and something in Japanese, alright. Okay. I don't hate my lead here. Like, we get the Intimidate of the Gyarados, which is pretty nice here, and... Trishel from Polydode. It's a shiny Polydode. Mm. Does Gyarados have a Lumberry? I think I want to do this. I think Corviknight has to Dynamax in this battle, and... Just go after the Gyarados here. Hopefully we can beat it. Oh, I should have definitely brought Tyrandar. What am I thinking? I need to I need to win the weather war. I need to win the weather war, my friends. Well, I don't know. We can fight in the rain, I think. Like Corviknight's pretty strong in rain too. Does Gyarados get Thunderfang? I can't remember. Probably Yes. Thunder Wave. That's really smart too. Something I was not expecting. Very strong. Okay. That's fairly smart too to get rid of my Dynamax, but that's still a lot of damage, and we'll get we'll be able to get the Tolidote in the sleep. So yeah, you got the Perry Song off, but. Like it's, Gyarados has lost half of its, over half of its health, it's intimidated, and Polydote is in, uh, fell asleep. Like I think I can spore this slot too. Hmm, we'll see, maybe I, this is the wrong play, but we'll see. Yeah, I was thinking he's probably not going to switch out here. Alright, that's pretty good. Well, it's it took like two turns of Dynamax and we are perishing. And my opponent still has uh, his Dynamax. Trying to Spore. Can I still uh, move one more turn and switch out after that? That's what I'm wondering here. How I'm not too familiar with the Perish song, but I kind of know how it works. So, Kvalion. I think I'm just gonna go spore it and use an airstream on it. Or should I get a defense boost? We need that damage here. After this, this we need to switch out, I think. Yeah, I should have spored that slot. That's probably Chugabolt. Yeah, that's still not bad. If you get this spore off... Like, you can beat up your Gobalion, but it's going to be asleep. Although, it can also protect. Alright. That's not a lot of value. At least we have a speedy among us. Yeah, great play by my opponent. Great play. I am going to lose among us, I think. 
but this is what I have to do. I have to rage powder here and I could get some more. I could actually like Tailwind, but losing two Pokemon is really bad. Okay, kind of like Incineroar here. Do I? Like Rillaboom looks pretty nice here as well. Yeah, but we're going to lose Among Us, which is really bad. I can't switch both of them out, I, I don't think. Because Chocobalt is going to beat up Gubalion right now, so we need the... We need the Rage Powder for my Among Us. So Dynamaxing Gubalion... And Chocobalt is trying to beat up with it. If this is Chocobalt, that's... Unexpected, to say the least. Yeah. So, Gobalion has this ability that every time it's hit with Dark-type move, it's attack roses, so... Chocobalt can use speed up and try to increase Gobalion's moves. But with Rage Powder we can direct at least the beat up here. Nice. We're still not uh, in a great spot, but at least... Gobalion is not plus two. Max Airstream is also not amazing. Well, Among Us is going to be going down for that Perish Rung anyway, so... Let's see... Among Us should go down here. No! Hmm... I don't know if we can pull through this Dragobald and Cobalion. I need Rillaboom for the Polydote now that I'm thinking about it. But I kind of need to knock off the Dragobald here. They are at plus one speed, which is really bad. Okay. It's not gonna do anything in the rain. I could Taunt, which does nothing. I could Fake Out, which does nothing. So I think I need to... Parting shot here and maybe switch to Corviknight. Like, there's not much I can do, I think. This is the best play. I could knock off Dragobolt, but I, I fear Rillaboom is good getting KO'd before that. So now the Pied Up connects. Justify this ability. So Incineroar got it to minus one, this is three hits, uh, so it's plus one right now, and with that max airstream, yeah, that's going to Incin. That's a, that's a lot more damage than I was expecting, actually. I thought we get that parting shut off, so that's a horrible turn for us. That's a horrible turn for us, only thing we accomplished that Kabalion is boosted now. Hmm, maybe I brought the wrong Pokemon for this. Well, that Perish Strong was also pretty bad. That was actually pretty smart on that first turn, but... This is a new team for me and, you know, I'm trying my best. Okay, kind of want to knock off here, but... I'm expecting a Max Airstream in the Rillaboom and... I get Iron Head the Tragabolt here. Let's see, I need to survive this Max Dynamax at least. Dragon Darts, yeah. I was maybe thinking my opponent is going to beat up again. You can boost uh, Gobalion a lot more, but... Yeah, that's in the Rillaboom. So maybe a Smart Protector, maybe. Oh, I don't see how we can <laughs> pull this one off. I'm sorry, you guys. I tried my best. It's a new team for me, and I'm sure there was something I could do to win, but... but maybe I definitely needed some more re redirection here. That beat up wasn't able, wasn't supposed to go off, and 
Maybe like a Togekiss instead of Among Us, like Dazzling Gleam here seems extremely well. Nice. I need to Grassic Light here. I kind of need to knock off, but I'm thinking I, I don't get an attack off here. Like, let's see. There's not much I can do here. Maybe hope that they go after Carbonite here and survives with Roost. Hope that Rillaboom survives here and Corviknight too. And with that Roost, we can boost close combat in the Rillaboom. No, okay. Ah, but we are <laughs> we are KO'd. I mean, there's nah, there's no way I can win this anymore. We can still KO the Polydode if it doesn't have uh, protect, but there's. There's not enough HP for me to deal with both Kobalion and and Politoed. And it's a sleeping Polydoad. Oh, it's a sleeping Polydoad. Now if Polydoad... Okay, I was thinking I was going to protect, heal a little bit more. Hope that I survive one Cobalion hit and KO the Cobalion. Hope that uh, Polydoge stays asleep and KO it with Crashing Light. But because Polydoge is asleep... Now, if for some miracle... I KO this Cobalion here with a critical hit... I think that's my best chance. I could also protect heal a little bit more. Polydote stays asleep, I take one Cobalion hit, I KO go uh, this is... Like, Cobalion's too... its attack is too boosted. Let's go! Ah! No! Nice. GG, GG. Well, I'm sorry you guys, I tried my best, but... You can't win them all, you can't win them all. All right, my friend, friends, that wraps up today's episode. And we went two and one, one with this team. I'm uh, pretty happy how it, everything turned out uh, on that last game. Uh, I should, now that I think about it, I should have probably brought like Togekis on the game. Maybe actually something as crazy as Among Us and Togekis, both. Actually, now that I think about it, it seems like a pretty good pretty good idea well you can't win them all at least I, I it, it was frustrating because I knew what was going on but <laughs> I just wasn't able to do anything anything about it anyways this team was created by Evan so thank you Evan for the boom it was some it was a really good team and um, here's the team ID once again it's in the beginning of the video and it will be on the link or in the description as well of the video so let me let me know if you guys are uh renting this team how how did you like about it or what did you like about today's video also if you guys have created rental teams your own you can uh paste them on the comments below and maybe maybe i'll be able to rent them and uh, test test them out in one of my videos in the future We'll see. But anyways, if you have like rental teams or anything to talk about in today's video, please do comment below. Uh, I love to talk about Pokemon. Ooh, anyways, thank you for watching. My name is Veiku. See you next time and bye bye.